when a spouse runs up debt be, on the beginnings of a divorce action, the question is, is whether or not that debt is the result of a lack of earnings and it's being used to keep the status quo that was going on during the marriage, or if the spouse is doing that to disadvantage the other spouse. The person who is facing such a circumstance should consult with their attorney who would at that point contact the lawyer of the spouse who's running up the debt to tell them to stop running up the debt. Because when you start a divorce action, and if there hadn't been a divorce action already started, it's important to start one because what goes into play is what we call automatic orders. Automatic orders essentially require both parties to keep the status quo until either further order of the court or until they can agree amongst themselves how the issues of the marriage are going to be resolved. What issues am I talking about? Acquiring debt, paying bills, maintaining the marital home, paying college tuition, making payments for taxes, keeping the business running at the same level and rate it was before they, the parties had decided to divorce keeping the insurance policies in force, including health insurance. In fact, the only thing that you can do outside of the automatic orders is to change your will or to pay reasonable legal fees. Everything else must pay, must remain the same. So if there is a violation of the automatic orders and the spouse running up the debt is not stopping their efforts in running up the debt, you would then want to bring a motion for a contempt with the court in order to stop that spouse from incurring additional debt and also potentially a finding that that debt becomes the sole responsibility of the party running up the debt.